Hi, Mike Masters from GE Aviation's Customer Training Services in Cincinnati. And in this All Engine Models Maintenance Minute, we're going to look at proper removal and installation of an O-ring, particularly on a threaded fitting. Now when removing the O-ring, obviously we're not too uh, concerned about the condition of the O-ring when we get it off, but we are concerned about the condition of the, uh, the sealing surface of the fitting itself. So you'll want to use a proper uh, O-ring removal tool and simply slide the tool parallel to the fitting under the O-ring. There we go. We'll hook it and there we go. Now installing the new O-ring on the same fitting, a little trickier if we want to do it right and uh, make sure we get maximum life uh, out of our O-ring. Uh, what I have here is just a, a small strip of Teflon tape and we're going to put just one wind or so of this tape around the threads of the fitting. Not so much to protect the fitting, but to protect the new O-ring. There we go. Now we don't have any uh, sharp threads to damage our, our O-ring when we go on. And what we have here is just an old discarded piece of O-ring material uh, that we've cut, obviously. And you'll see what that's for in just a moment. Before I install the new O-ring, I'm gonna wet it with whatever the AMM says we're using, depends on what system we're working in here. Could be engine oil, could be something else. Make sure it's nice and slippery. And then I will thread this material, this old discarded O-ring, through my new O-ring. Make a little loop, kind of like so. The reason I'm doing that is because we want to avoid uh, like rolling the new O-ring into position. We have the, uh, the threads of the fitting taped to protect the O-ring from getting cut, but if we roll the O-ring into position, I'm running a risk of storing those uh, twisting energy in the O-ring and it won't last as long. So what we'll do, put our O-ring in position, like so, and then use my old O-ring material make a couple revolutions here, and then get completely down into uh, the ceiling groove. Once I'm in position, this is just a good maintenance practice, changing an O-ring on anything. Once we're in position, make a couple more revolutions around that O-ring like so. That way, if I do have any of that twisting energy stored in the packing, uh, those couple revolutions will, will release that and make the packing last longer. We can now remove our old packing material and then remove our Teflon tape making sure there's no residual tape anywhere on the threads or under the packing and there we go a perfectly installed o-ring over a threaded fitting I hope you enjoyed this maintenance minute uh, again thanks for all you do in maintaining the GE powered fleet out there in the world see you next time